Well, good morning. My name is Eric Frankiel. I'm the CEO and co-founder of MemSQL. And uh, I'm incredibly excited to be here to talk about what we're seeing with the on-demand economy and how in-memory processing with Spark and MemSQL uh, is enabling new types of analytics in the market. <clears throat> now, there's no doubt that we live in an on-demand economy. And our consumers today are conditioned to instant access to data for instant services uh, and instant gratification. And this is, of course, possible even inside our own uh, companies. Internal end users, like analysts and product managers, we all want access to data now. And as data scientists, it's our duty to carry this forward and deliver the type of access and data analytics that they would like to see, both internal and external, to the business. But one of the problems, of course, is that we still wrangle with data. We're still having to contend with batch processing, uh, slow ETL, uh, and it is incredibly uh, uh, frustrating to see this as a delay, because we've all been there, whether it takes hours or days to load that data in, to run a query that is going to take hours to days to run, only to get empty results. But fundamentally, an inability to expose this data to the rest of the business so that others can actually analyze the data and move faster as well. Uh, the good news, of course, is that, to Doug's point, we are seeing a shift to real-time processing. And that's why I'm incredibly excited today and this morning to be announcing general availability of MemSQL 5, which is the database platform that lets you run real-time analytics easily. MemSQL 5 is 10 times faster than our last version, uh, with an entirely brand new execution engine that is using LLVM to process uh, queries very quickly. Uh, this is enabling brand new types of analytics with real-time BI and also announcing an ability to use a brand new open source application called Streamliner, which lets you build programmable pipelines with a click of a button. What's exciting is that we happen to be working with perhaps the most definitive on-demand company on the planet, transforming logistics and transforming transportation around the globe. They're using MemSQL to track every car, and we're showing you an example here that lets you see how you can do rapid ingestion of data and use familiar SQL to actually run these analytics. MemSQL uh, possesses native geospatial capabilities, so it's very easy to re-render uh, a query just by zooming in or out, and the query itself will adapt. But of course, I believe that real-time dashboards are just the very first step, just the beginning. With Streamliner, it's possible to actually go beyond and build predictive analytic applications with a click of a button. And to show you how that works, we can talk about an architecture that lets you use Kafka uh, as a message bus subscribe to a topic, transform it with Streamliner however you need in a programmable library, whether it's uh, Python or, or, or Scala, and then stream that into a database platform that lets you actually run real-time BI with any type of application logic you please. I'll also say that with Hadoop being so critical in our businesses, we actually have a way to let our customers build real-time applications on top of Hadoop by leveraging Apache Spark and Streamliner to make it easy to shift that data into memory. But the really exciting thing with Streamliner is its flexibility. Built on top of Apache Spark, you can actually leverage Spark ML Lib to load a custom predictive model into an in-memory system. With this model, you can actually stream data uh, from your inputs and score it, persist that raw sensor data, persist the predictive score, and then have business logic say, stop drilling, increase production, or redirect uh, to another part of the business. Uh, of course, none of this is actually fiction. We're talking about real work here being done with Streamliner today with a lot of IoT applications. We can actually visualize this with another example that is showing a real-time dashboard of 200,000 wind turbines around the globe emitting 2 million updates per second about their condition. Now, with the Streamliner application and the database, you can actually do very easy rendering like so to get full resolution on the data, as well as uh, expose it to the rest of the business. You might agree that the left-hand rail kind of looks like a Facebook newsfeed. So I encourage you to get the blueprint. Uh, O'Reilly, in conjunction, uh, has written a book called Building Real-Time Data Pipelines. It's available in the, uh, the library here today, as well as the booth, um, because it's fundamentally my belief that as data scientists, we need to go from the back office to the front office to leverage both batch processing and also introduce real-time analytics and real-time processing with main memory uh, into the business. But fundamentally, to go from making hindsight to go to predictive insight. 
Please join me a little later this morning. Uh, we'll all be talking at a session with one of our customers, Kellogg, on how they're transforming their own internal logistics uh, with Spark and MemSQL to make it a real-time solution. And that's my uh, mark. Thank you guys so much. See you guys later. Thank you.